as you can see, it's free. Relatively big bags, and they're amazing. I've never seen restaurants do bags like these. Like these are amazing. Yeah, it feels like I've just gone to some swanky restaurant. It is pretty damn good. It's one of the most expensive vegan restaurants I've been to for sure, but completely worth it. For anyone wondering, well, anyone wondering how much this all cost me, the food you're going to see, it was a uh, 1,040 baht. I'll put the conversion for it here. And I also got something else as well. So we're going to talk about that first. So let's move one of these over to the side. And yeah, I love a bit of say on there more than just veggies, that's pretty cool. Um, I saw this in there, which I think is pretty cool. I never thought of one of these before, but it's a Vortex Protein Mixer. And yeah, it caught my eye. I was looking in there because they do other types of things and not just food. Uh, it says it's the world's most pan powerful handheld Vortex drinks mixer. Oh, it's an ergonomic design that's been athlete tested, ultra lightweight, portability, 100% leak proof, scientifically engineered blade, preserves micronutrients for improved protein performance, internal self cleaning, and yeah, it's, it's just really, really cool. They didn't have all the colours in there. They didn't have the 2.0, they had the 1.0, which is all good, doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, I think it looks pretty damn cool. I got the pink one. I love bright colours, it's not girly at all. So yeah, you literally have this bit at the bottom that you put batteries in, and then you press the button, and then it will spin around, it hasn't got batteries in at the moment. And you say it's off the top, it's BPA3 as well. And yeah, you can drink it through here. So yeah, that's perfect because yeah, I've got my protein powders with me in, and Vendors can't make good smoothies, most of them anyway, and it's hard to actually find them in Bangkok compared to Koh Phangan in Chiang Mai. So yeah, I'm going to start chucking my protein powder in there while I'm travelling around. So that's brilliant for travelling. Sometimes at the gym afterwards, I might go somewhere and I need it as well. So yeah, that's brilliant. So yeah, once I actually use it, I'll do a review of it and let you know how that is. But yeah, I'm not going to use that now. And okay, so the first thing got here. It would be a good idea to get my phone and put that there. Uh, I've got the supplements here that I'll use in a short while. But yeah, let's start getting out all of the stuff and then we can go through it one after the other. Yeah, this is a lot of food and I haven't trained today. Um, so we'll see how this goes. I don't have to consume it all. I normally overbuy, well, pretty much always when I'm ordering from a restaurant, because to make sure that I've ordered enough. So, so um, I'm hoping everything is here. Let's soon find out. Um, so that goes to that. That goes to that. What's this one? We'll put some silver tape on there. Okay, that goes there. That goes there. Separate. Let's go here, here, all these different little things, loads of them. Uh, I think they all go together. So, yeah, as you can see, there's a lot, a lot of different stuff. So, here we have some type of cinnamon bun swirl thing here with icing on top. That's pretty damn good. And we'll open that and give you a better look. And what I'll actually do is quickly zoom out a little bit so you can get a bit of a better look wrong way. There we go, that's better. That's definitely better for sure. So, yeah, mixture of sweet things um, and savoury things. I had one of these yesterday, but not with the icing. Oh, the icing's got stuck on the top. Make sure you leave that off. So, yeah, that's the cinnamon bun. Whoa, naughty, naughty food. It's all good. It's all good. And then we have here, they haven't put it all together, but they've got the vegan pancakes, uh, which have cooked and warmed them up. Yeah, they're pretty damn good. I wish I had some peanut butter. That would be really, really good. And then they've got all the ingredients. So, chuck them on this. We've got bananas, 
So they go like that, done. So it's nice and simple. They can go on the floor. Hmm, what is that? That is not for the pancakes. That's good that I've just realised that. Because <laughs> I was almost going to put that on there. What is this? Jesus. Ah, oh, it's some sort of peanut mixture that goes on the pancakes. Yeah, it is peanut butter. Oh, there you go. I said I wanted some peanut butter, so that's good. Um, and you know what I've just realised? They didn't give me any cutlery. So, I hope that I've got some cutlery. Otherwise, we have got some trouble going on. <laughs> that also is not for that. Let's see if we care for that one. Uh, what's this? That's a caramel syrup that they've added to it as well. So the caramel syrup. Oh, look at this. Oh, gooey, gooey. That is good stuff right there. We've got some almond flakes as well. Boom, bada boom. Oh, and then we've got strawberry crumble ice cream. And you know that I love ice cream. And that's melted for obvious reasons. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh. That. Wow. That is amazing. And we got the one and only. Soy cream. So thick. If you didn't tell, if you told someone this was just ordinary cream, they would believe you. They would love it because it is so divine. Um, so let's just take that out of there. Put the cinnamon bun there. Throw that down there so we can make it a bit nicer for sure. Then we have this pesto, tomato, vegan cheese, um, BLT. Um, toasty. That's going to be really, really good. And then I'll find out on my phone what some of the other things are and tell you all the ingredients because I took photos because I'm not going to remember all of them, but I know you're going to be interested in it. Um, so we are missing something. Damn it! No, they forgot the cookies. No. No cookies. Did I keep the receipt? I don't know. Well, I'll go back there tomorrow. Um, it's all good. Uh, and then, oh yeah, so, getting a little bit distracted there. So, let's see what we've got here, shall we? The smoothie here, as you see, looks pretty damn good to me, is well, it contains fresh strawberries, uh, vegan French vanilla ice cream, soy milk, coconut syrup, and coconut whipped cream. And then the next thing that we have, uh, let's go back there. No, we took two pictures of that one. Why I did that, I don't know. Uh, hmm. Yeah, and this is vegan banana, banana butter scotch vegan hot pancakes. And then we also have this, which is black rice, and it comes with a sweet potato, chickpea, and spinach curry rice bowl, which I had there, which is really, really tasty. Uh, and it comes with all these different sauces and onions and stuff like that as well. Um, and yeah, that is it. It doesn't seem as much as. I wanted, how many did I order? Now I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, man, I don't think I've ordered enough. Hmm, what do you reckon? Well, I did order the cookies as well, but they seem to have vanished off of the face of the earth. I don't know how they did that. Yeah, that's a bit strange. I've never had a place um, give me takeaway food, but with no takeaway cutlery. So that's a bit of a bummer. Um, yeah, there's some peanut butter on here. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. Peanut butter is amazing. That's 
or some really high quality peanut butter. Who needs to make love to women? And you can just eat food like this. Mm. Super cold. I'm just making sure I don't miss the bag. Mm, no. Nope. How people mess up a simple thing. So just giving you all the food you ask for. I don't know. favorite adding things to other things. Whoa! Losing the peanut butter pole there. Yeah, in there. Looking good. Mmm. Seriously, this is hands down amazing. It's because it's got that icing on, especially. Mm. You wait until Janessa gets here tomorrow. <laughs> Man, I love food. I don't know how people eat like low quality food, things like microwave meals. Then again, I used to be like microwave king. But I wasn't that into food as I am now. I was more interested in gaming or skateboarding. I'm not really eating at all. I used to eat hardly any food at all. I would just have like Red Bull and fizzy drinks like Coca Cola and candy. It's all these highly refined sugar products. Yeah, most people love sugar. That's why I loved it when I got into eating loads of fruit. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I will admit, I'm a little bummed out about there not being the oatmeal cookie and the chocolate chip cookie. Oh well. Yeah, and this is a service food panda, which can deliver for most restaurants to your house, which is amazing. <sighs> oh, and I found out there's an Indian buffet. It's the most expensive buffet I've ever been, would have been to in Thailand, I'll go soon. But it's like super, super high class vegan Indian buffet. And what's one of my favourite food in the world? Indian food. So I'm looking forward to that. Mm. A strong strawberry taste, strong soya milk taste. It's super creamy. Yeah, I was always a big fan of milkshakes as well. But yeah, dairy is full of antibiotics and hormones and all these other things that are really not good for you. Mm. And for people concerned about soy, I get a lot of people saying that concerned about it. I would say. Try to stick to almost most of the time 
fermented soy product. Like tempeh, me, miso, uh, nat nato. Um, this gets rid of a lot of the anti nutrients. Um, yeah, a lot of people are concerned because of it possibly increasing estrogen levels in the body, but from what I've learned, they don't. The main estrogens in milk do, though, um, but plant estrogens don't. Um, and yeah, the phytoestrogens have been shown through scientific research to actually have anti cancer benefits. And a whole host of other benefits. And there's also been research showing that vegan men have higher levels of testosterone than BT eating men. Mm. And I'm telling you, most men that I see that walk around, even females, they show the typical characteristics of someone who's high in estrogen and low in testosterone. How many men that eat a meat based diet are low in testosterone? So many! See my kitchen from here. There's a fridge, microwave, toaster. Not sure about the cutlery. I haven't needed any until now. Oh. Now, onto the coconut dish. And yeah, now I'm starting to feel that I definitely did order enough. Um, it was a good idea that they did forget the cookies. Not that I would eat them if they were here. I like a lot of my friends that's still relatively new to fasting. My friend Heidi said, if he's in the fastest state of foods around him or even looks at a food menu, like it goes with, yeah, he'd find it too much. And if he had it in the house, he'd have to eat it. Um, but I'm not like that or I have so much experience with fasting. It's like you could have me in my house with all the most amazing food possible and have loads of people eating loads of amazing food around me could be looking at food menu at the same time and um, I wouldn't be tempted to eat at all because I when I fast is when I fast and when I eat is when I eat and that's it that's in my mind and I don't find that hard to stick to at all but that has come with time over years and years and years I used to do a lot of more extended water fasting and other things like juice cleanses and so forth Wow, I don't know what that sauce have given me. Oh no! That was meant for that amazing dish that I just had. And it tastes so good. That would be wrong to put with this. It tastes like barbecue sauce, too, if you know what that is. Or Thousand Island dressing. And that is very spicy, actually. Well, not like extremely spicy, but quite spicy for me. Let's see here, I'll show you this. <clears throat> Looking good. Mmm, peanut butter. Mmm, peanut butter. Curry, peanut butter, curry, peanut butter, curry, and caramel syrup. Let's try that one, shall we? Very strange. <laughs> they do not go well together. <laughs> Not that I thought they would, but they are. Super creamy. Super tasty. Mm -hmm. Man. 
I love this dish. I love me. Yeah, for anyone wondering how I got into a vegan diet, um, I got with this woman in on the 11th month of the 11th day of the 11th year. Uh, if anyone knows about angel numbers, it's quite surreal. Um, um, She's a celiac, and at one point I moved into hers. Now yeah, switched to gluten-free diet and a blood type diet. Blood type type's garbage, by the way. Um, did notice my health improved with both of those, though. And then um, we decided to juice cleanse on January the 1st, 2013. We did a 15 day juice feast, I'd even call it. Just juices, nothing else, and water. Um, I had said the opposite point. I'd like to give up meat, but I still love the taste of it. Um, I didn't know the environmental impact of not eating a vegan diet. Didn't know about the animal cruelty side of things. I just knew it was more healthy to not eat meat. Then, when we broke the fast, soon after we tried eating meat, it tasted foul. Tried various different meats. Horrible. So disgusting. I tried it about three or four times, didn't like it. Taste it for what it is, it's just flesh. And now we gave it up because of that. <coughs> then we continue juicing every day, we're taking certain herbal supplements, drinking and butcher. Got into doing enemas. So I did all of these small minor things. I would drink distilled water as well. And I found over the next year I just felt naturally drawn to eat a vegan diet. Because I cleanse my body more and more and more. So for, for a lot of that year, I started eating like 60% or so of my diet is raw food. I normally have overnight raw overnight oat, oats with banana, um, nut milk, some other things. Then, well, I'd either have raw later on or partially raw with some cooked stuff. Um, really got into my hemp spirulina protein shakes. Then, yeah, I really got into like high fat raw gourmet as well. Um, me and my girlfriend's relationship at the time wasn't good. We got into a relationship for the wrong reasons, we were incompatible. Both on different things. I started to grow apart and I started to want more health. And I wanted to get up taking certain mind expanding, mind altering substances, so to speak. She didn't necessarily want it. This is all good. And yeah, sort of a last straw in the relationship, me starting to go towards a vegan diet, she didn't like it. If I remember correctly, she's thought it's being extreme again. Nothing extreme about her vegan diet. 
But I can understand why some people could say that and see it like that. And then, yeah, when I got the race ship in November 2013, I went fully towards a vegan diet. There were some slip ups I made until I started learning about the impact on animals, the cruelty side. And I was like, well, if I don't want to eat, well, if I want to eat non vegan food and harm myself and my health, that's okay, but to harm another animal, no. So that helped me stay vegan. I mean, yeah, I did it all wrong with veganism for ages. Under eating on calories. Not supplementing. And a whole host of things. So I had to learn from my mistakes, which is fine. That's all good. Part of the growing and evolving process. I didn't find it hard going vegan either. No. Especially once I started eating enough calories. Yeah, I never found it hard being vegan either. I don't understand people who say that it's hard. Maybe if you live in certain countries like Israel, yeah, maybe. <laughs> but England, most places in Europe, America, Australia, even Thailand, no. <clears throat> and for me, I went pretty much towards like a fruit based raw vegan diet. I found that wasn't that hard, so it didn't be on that mostly for around two years. And then being able to eat all types of vegan food, I was like, wow, this is really, really easy. <laughs> Tell me things I can eat. I don't feel limited at all. Oh, look at this food I've got. Mm. Never got stuck by any um, vegan food in Laos. Which is in Malaysia, never Malaysia, never in Thailand. Even when I was in Portugal before, UK easy. Mm. Whoa. All these things are very, um, Tasty, but they're all very rich, very strong in taste. It's actually nice. But it's a little bit too much for me. Yeah, I definitely did need the cookies. Because it's always very strong now, I'm actually liking the rice mostly on its own. I feel like I could just eat those and loads of rice plain. No, I feel like I could. I know that I could. Yeah, a lot of people are against grains. I'll probably fry this on here. I would recommend. Eating just mostly grains in the diet, you get end up with like nutritional flaws massively in your diet. Yeah, I know in places like Asia, vitamin C deficiency is very rough amongst Asians because they're eating mostly like meat based dishes with rice. And not much fruit, even though a lot of it grows here, but it's growing your own. 
like fruit can actually work well and work out a lot of time. It costs a lot more than rice dishes. Which is crazy, but <laughs> mm. they look like cocoa pops. <laughs> no mind me of cocoa pops for a bit soggy. <laughs> I forgot about them. My breakfast cereals. Breakfast is like the healthiest meal of the day. Um, yeah, no matter what you're really eating, um, let alone any bad food in combination with that. Yeah, a lot of people ask about keto junk diet. My thoughts on it. Well, it seems to work for people who normally have type 2 diabetes, people on weight loss benefits, and other things, but you can lose weight just by eating Twinkies, as a man did, as an experiment before. Do you think it's good for you? No. If you're doing ketogenic on a meat based diet, Man, all that saturated fat and cholesterol is going to get stuck in your arteries and then clog you up. And I've seen what high fat foods do with live, when you do live blood analysis on someone. For example, someone just consumes pure fat and nothing else. All the blood cells just clump together. They're not free moving around. They should be when they're really healthy. It's not good. It's a recipe for like heart disease and heart attacks, cardiovascular issues. Mm. That's my thoughts on that. Hmm. I have to use that sauce to say no tomorrow. I'm so excited. Oh, so excited today, jumping around. Just saying, I love my life and all these others are grinning from ear to ear. I'm not speaking to my friend. He's picking up all those good vibes. Man, my body wants more and more rice. See? Downfall's not being a restaurant. I've been at the restaurant where I've got that old cookies have been too much. And chocolate chip cream. I've ordered more rice. Mm -hmm. Looking at this sweet stuff doesn't interest me, even that cream left in there. Mm. Didn't interest me, but all oh, my body's actually going, mmm, I'm not sure about that. My mouth's going, mmm, my body's like, mmm, not so sure. So, Some of that Am I feeling stuffed? No. Far from it. Otherwise I wouldn't be born in any more rice. So now back onto the pancakes. We'll see what my stomach says. <laughs> Not sure what my stomach's going to be saying, but my mouth is saying there's too much syrup in there, there's too much sweetness. I'm a sugar fiend, more for healthy sugars, normally in fruit, not <coughs> white sugar. I do not like white sugar. Mmm. Well, there's some plain ones there then. Mmm. Yeah, our body just wants very bland, savoury stuff right now. To balance out all that intenseness of have. Well, 
Ingen bara vi ska gå. Finala. Jag har aldrig sett high quality ripe fruit, which is like I've never seen that anywhere. Det make smoothies or desserts for fruit. And I saw the strawberries that they're using, they're using the ones I've seen ripen before. They cost a lot. Small pots like 300 baht. A uh, uh, small, small square pot. Then put it from California. That's a lot of peanut butter right there. Can you do it? Can you not? Let's see. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm still alive. <laughs> Definitely not overeating. Um, a lot of people ask how do I feel afterwards. Well, I feel more with it than I did before I ate the food because so I was quite deep into a fast. So yeah, my mind's still very clear. My mind, work, my mind's working very, very well. Many levels feel really good physically, mentally. I feel amazing. I feel really good. Mm -hmm. I wish I had these bad boys. That happens quite a lot. And I remember after. So yeah, three of this multi. I've got all the supplements in here that I needed to bring with me. Um, I only bought three, three multi important ones. The multi, the probiotic, and the EPA DHA. So, oh, three of the multi, I'm taking through the EPA DHA and I took the probiotic early because I always take it the fastest state. Always make sure you take it to food, otherwise the might can make you feel sick. And all of the nutrients in both of these will get properly absorbed when eaten with food. A lot of people find it strange that I take supplements with my food rather than with water. It works better for me, otherwise the end has to get stuck in my throat. I might do because I just want to peer by that. <laughs> be fine with that, will we? But uh, yeah, I love this multi vitamin. This is a new label. I think it looks a lot better. What do you think? Maybe you don't know what the old label's like. Maybe you do. Yeah. I'm looking forward to trying this bad boy out. So yeah, that's it. We are done. I didn't actually stop the fasting timer. This one's called My Fast. It's a new one I've been using for a while. I highly, highly recommend it. Um, hmm. I'm not sure when I stop fasting now. Hmm. Yes, I do actually. Let's have a look here. No, wrong. <laughs> Thought I had it right. There we go. So I finished at 6.24 p.m. And it's now exactly 7.24 p.m. That you can see that at the top. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, one hour. Exactly. So yeah. That was perfect. That's what I prefer. Around 24 hours of fasting in a one hour eating window. Because... The longer you fast, the greater benefits you get to a certain point. Um, it take you uh, about 36 hours into fast, then you stop getting all the amazing benefits except for autophagy. They start to go down. Um, so yeah, to get the full benefits of one meal a day, the longer you fast and the shorter the eating window, the greater benefits you can get with human growth hormone production, testosterone production, greater effects with autophagy. Insulin's going to go low, it's going to improve insulin sensitivity more, you're going to burn more fat as fuel due to glucose production, which is a protein that's released when in an intermittent fasted state. 
which is key to get your body to start burning body fat as fuel. Because if your body's not producing that, it can't burn body fat as fuel. So, something to be mindful of. I did the mukbang, then I went into the kitchen, and was like, what is this on the side? I was like, ah, that's where the cookies are. So they didn't forget them. So that was good of them. And I was thinking to myself, when I got up, I still feel slightly hungry. So yeah, cookies. I'm your cookie monster. so hot right now. I look forward to getting that fan on with full glass. Mm. There's always a window open. Mm. The oatmeal meal cook is good. It's quite dry though. So yeah, they need to do something to make that a bit more moist. I would also put some sort of raisins in there. Mm. There are raisins in there, I just didn't get any until now. <laughs> Some more raisins than what's in there already. And I'm making a right mess here. It's alright, maybe in the hotel. Mm. So they clear it up. Mm. That's what I love at my place as well. I have cleaners that come every day. So my house is like spotless and tidy pretty much all the time. I love things like oatmeal bars, cookies, especially when they're full of fruit. See, I didn't finish that thing now. So now it's going to be about one hour, seven minutes. Uh -oh. So yeah, due to the lack of raisins, it being dry, four out of ten. Um, it tastes bad. <coughs> you can sound my voice like it's very dry. Um, yeah, and this is quite dry as well. Mm. Nowhere near as dry, actually. Yeah, they give the coconut curry nine out of ten. Pancakes. Mm. Pancakes a bit doughy for me, but uh, six out of ten. What else do we have? Oh, that pesto mozzarella bacon thing. Ten out of ten. The frappe. Out of ten. It's doing pretty good so far. Cinnamon bum, 10 out of 10. Chocolate chip cookie. If I actually like chocolate, 7 out of 10 because I don't, 3 out of 10. <laughs> Where are you, Tiffany? Where I need you. This happens sometimes, well, quite a few times it's happened in the past, not so much recently, where I buy something chocolate and I'm not into chocolate stuff, then my friends get to eat it. So it's good for people to sometimes be around me. Then I'll give it to them, maybe I'll give it to someone downstairs here. Mmm. No. I don't know what to do. She's an extra like chocolate. Well, more than chocolate. If it's not dark chocolate, it's chocolate that's full of sugar. <laughs> yeah. 
I need to sweeten this over too much, but yeah, I don't want that because I'm not really into chocolate. Um, if we would, I'd devour the whole thing because it's really amazing chocolate cookie if you're into chocolate. So, yeah, now we're going to finish the video. So, yeah, that is it for this video. And yeah, it's going to be fun to try this out. <laughs> so, yeah. If you have any questions on anything I talked about in this video, or you'd like me to talk about anything else in future mukbang videos, let me know down below. I can even do some story times if that's what you're interested in. Um, and yeah, stay tuned because there's going to be a lot of daily vlogs coming up soon, mukbang videos, all different types of things. Um, I'll show more of what I get up to in my life and eating and so forth, which I know people really like them. Um, but yeah, if you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up. Please share this video with anyone you think would love to watch this amazing vegan one meal a day mukbang robot, the amazing food from Veganery. I'll put a link down below for them. I highly recommend you check them out. They have about four different places in Bangkok you can buy it from. All plant based, vegan, really nice stuff. Really nice location, really nice food. I'd rate this place. Hmm. 9 out of 10. It's hard to give something 10 out of 10. Um, do I have any flaws with the place? No. Not at all. But yeah, 9 out of 10 will do for that one. And yeah, if you'd like to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis, then make sure you click that subscribe button down below. And the type of videos you can expect to get from me are informational videos on one meal a day, intermittent fasting, calisthenics. I'll also be posting calisthenics workout and progression videos. I also have my year transformation video coming up soon, which is going to get finished whilst we're here in Bangkok. So I'm going to go to some amazing CrossFit gyms to finish off the filming footage that I need to, or the clips even, to finish off the full one year transformation video. So I'm looking forward that and Janessa is going to be my camera girl which helps a lot to finish that off. So yeah if you'd like to receive those types of videos make sure that you click that subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded. So yeah as always stay fit, stay energetic and go and get those gains. Peace.